This is the sales control panel. If you want to make a sale, click on the sale item link. If you want to make a sale on a customer who is not registered yet, you would need to fill the details of the customer in this form. And then click on the submit button. Or if there is a customer who is already registered, just click on the search customer link. Search the customer by any piece of information, click on the search button, and then click on the customer's name. Finally, click on the go button to open the account of the customer. Search by number information is optional. For example, if you have any information like an engine code, chasis number, OEM, part number, or brand number, you can enter that number in the number information box, select the option below accordingly, and click on the other vehicle information link. It will now provide you with a list of vehicles with further information which are compatible with the specific engine code, part, OEM, brand, or chasis number. To select the vehicle of the customer, click on the select vehicle link and then choose the vehicle from the list by clicking on the select link. You can now see the details of the selected vehicle. There are two ways to search a car part. In this video, we will show you both ways to search a part. The first way is search by brand number. Click on the search stock link and in the pop-up window, select the brand name which would be recycler if you're looking for a used part. Next, enter the brand number and click on the search button. It will then provide you with the details of the part below. To select the part, click on the item name link. Now the part is selected, click on the add to cart button and it will provide you with the shopping cart details below. We will now delete the part from the cart to show you another way of searching the part. The second way to search a part is by selecting the part type. If it's a performance part, it will go under performance. If it's an original new part, it will go under OEM. Or if it's a used part, it will go under replacement. Next, you will select the category of the part. Next, you will select the subcategory of the part and then select the name of the part. It will then provide you with the reference application data that gives you the further information on the part like fitting position, fitting location, and year. Next, you will click on the radio button to select the part and then click on the add to cart button. You can now recalculate the price if you want to add the quantity, save code for future shopping, or check out to confirm the order. On this page you will confirm the shipping address of the customer and click on the order button. Next you will choose the mode of payment by selecting the radio button and click on the place order button to make the transaction complete. Finally, you can view the invoice detail. You can also print the invoice by clicking on the print invoice link. That's how you can make a sale and record all the information.